This video will show you how to create a pipe network from a 3D polymer. In this file, I have the 3D polyline on a layer that is turned off. So I'm just going to go to my layer drop downs here and type in ESB. Turn on ESB and we have a 3D polyline which represents the geometry or the inverse of the ESB line. That's from chain at 50 all the way up to approximately 250. We're going to create a new pipe network for this. So we're going to go up to the pipe network and we're going to go to create pipe network from object. Select that command and then select your 3D polyline. It will show you the direction and we're just going to go OK. And then you get a dialog box, this create pipe network from object dialog box and we'll just call this ESB. Now the part, the part list, I'm just going to maybe leave it or maybe change it to electric and then in here I might change it to comms ducting motorway and maybe change it to three by one or maybe two by two so it's going to be uh, four ducts in total and they're going to have a hundred diameter and then i might put in the manholes then we'll say it's just going to be this 1200 by 600. I want to then use the vertice, so everywhere you have a vertice point along this 3D polyline to put in a structure. So I'm going to click on this use vertex elevation. And I want to tell the software that this 3D polyline represents the invert of the ESB line. And go OK. And then a network has been formed along the 3D or the elevations of that 3D polyline and everywhere there was a vertex point along that 3D polyline a manhole is now displayed and that's how you create a network from a 3D polyline.